Hello everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. I am Albin Nimal Raj, Research Scholar at Loyola College, Chennai. So, in this video, we are going to deal about a topic that has been published in the Mint Journal. We are going to discuss about a K-shaped recovery. Article quotes like, India is still continuing the K-shaped recovery. So, we are going to discuss about this thing with two industrial backgrounds. So, this topic we are, that we are going to discuss is also available in our Tamil YouTube channel, Mani Pechu, and the link for that video is given in our description. So, let's start with the topic. So, first of all, what is a K-shaped recovery? Following a recession, different parts or different sectors of the economy recovers at different rates or at a different pace. So, as I already told you, we are going to discuss about two sectors. One, a premium sector. Now, another is a normal necessity-based sector. So, first one, we, are, we will discuss about the automobile sector. A recent report, a recent report from the automobile industry have uh, claimed that the cars costing above 10 lakhs, for example, uh, Mahindra XUV, uh, Tata Nexon, uh, Maruti Suzuki CS, all these car sales have increased. The sales of these cars have increased, but at the same time, the sales for of the cars that are costing below 10 lakh, the budget cars, the sales for those cars have decreased drastically. Another shocking news, another shocking news in the report says that uh, the two-wheeler segment, the two-wheeler sales have dipped uh, so much that it's near its 10-year low. So the two-wheeler uh, sales have dropped to its 10-year low and in the entire automotive sector, the two-wheeler sales have dipped the most. Uh, there could be some uh, change in the market share between them, like uh, Eero sales would have been dropped or Onda sales would have been an increase in Onda sales. But the entirely, the totality of the uh, two-wheeler segment has fallen down drastically. But a smaller segment, a smaller segment of the uh, two-wheeler segment have moved to the electric vehicle market. Nearly some 10 to 15 percent of Indian consumers have switched over to electric vehicles due to uh, petrol uh, price rise as, as well as uh, due to the price rise in normal vehicles. Like uh, Honda Activa was, was priced at 50,000 to 60,000 earlier, some four, five to six years back. But now the same vehicle they have priced at around 90,000 to 1 lakh. So consumers have moved uh, from the normal segment to electric vehicle. But then the fall in two-wheeler segment is the reality. So this drop in two-wheeler segment doesn't mean that these consumers are buying cars because the, these consumers will will be able to buy only cars that in the budget range like around 3 lakh or 5 lakh the entry level vehicles but in the same report itself it's given that there is a drop in the car sales that are costing below 10 lakh so will these consumers be able to get a car above 10 lakh it's not at all possible so this clearly shows that the indian economy is split into two dimensions that first one those who can afford to buy cars that cost about 10 lakhs and the other part of the segment those who cannot even afford a motorcycle or a low-end car as i already said the price of Honda activa the simple vehicle has doubled over some five to six years and even our economic vehicle like splendor it was costing around 45,000 to 60,000 that range but now it's costing about 90,000 so we cannot blame the company alone for this price rise the increase in steel prices increase in plastic parts prices uh, are happening around the globe as well as in india as well but the consumers buying capability haven't increased over a period of time only the cost has uh, increased but the consumers buying capability haven't increased so that's the main reason this drop in the two-wheeler segment two-wheeler sales is the main reason for the shares like Hero, uh, Bajaj Auto uh, haven't recorded any big movement in the market. They are just stagnant. The movement is not so high or not too low. But in the future, this uh, automobile uh, sector will have a good reach because Bajaj Auto is a predominant player. We can even say like it's a monopoly in the uh, three-wheeler segment in the manufacture of autos and all not only in India, but also they are a major exporter of three-wheelers around the globe. So, Bajaj Auto shares as well as Eero 
Mota Corp shares as a good potential in the near future and you must very well note that these two companies are debt free companies. So kindly have this in mind that these two companies will perform well in the near future so we can accumulate in small quantities as of now. So moving on to the next segment, this was the automobile sector segment, a premium segment, okay fine. The other segment that I have taken to discuss with you is the normal necessity segment which is nothing but a footwear segment that each and every citizen of our country would use on a regular basis. Moving on to the footwear segment, we, we did a small research about the sales in this segment, the sales that has been recorded in BATA has uh, seen a increase over the period of time and its share prices also have increased because of the increase in sales as well as the increase in revenue. But then we did a uh, furthermore research in this sector there we found a company Relaxo Footwear. Relaxo Footwear is an economical sandal making company uh, which makes products in the brand's name the brand name like Relaxo, Sparks, Flight and so on. They are basically a rubber based uh, sandal or slipper uh, product maker but the prices of these products have increased a lot over a period of time. So uh, when we were looking at the at this uh, company, the share prices of this company has already been overvalued. It was around 100 times its PE ratio at that time. But there is a steep correction in the share price of this company. Nearly it has corrected up to 40 percentage. Even now it is overvalued only. The PE ratio it's around 60 times uh, for its earnings. So even now it's overvalued but then there is a steep drop in its share price. Nearly 40 percent correction the company has witnessed. Why is because of its drop in sales. This drop in sales is directly attributable uh, by its increase in prices. The increase in price at is because of three major factors the company has quoted. First major factor is the increase in cost of rubber around the globe. Nearly 35% of the uh, of uh, price have been increased in rubber, the raw material that is predominantly used for these products. And the next one is the you know, crude oil price rise. The crude oil price rise have increased the plastic parts prices as well. And the third important thing is the uh, GST for footwear that our finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman has imposed in the recent years. This price rise in the product resulted in a drop in sales and this directly affected the company's share price and that's why of major correction nearly 40 percentage of share price correction has happened. So in both these segments first one automobile segment and the second one the footwear segment in both these segments we have we can easily witness the post covid effects that the indian people predominantly the rich the upper middle class the middle class and the third uh, the poor or the uh, bottom of the pyramid so how these three people are affected first the rich they are becoming richer day, day by day and the second one the upper middle class and the lower middle class who are all earning above 30,000 or even 40,000 but the pro bottom of the pyramid as per the statistics released by the Indian government the average salary of citizens of Indian citizens at uh, 17,000 but it's not the real figure because the same government has quoted that nearly 83 percentage of the Indian population are earning below 17,000 so predominantly Predominantly in India, nearly 83 percentage of the people living in the country are earning below 17 percent and these people are the major sufferers of the post-COVID stress and that, that has been reflected in the sales of automobile as well as in the sales of footwear. So the only solution will be that only when the government spends money to these people in the bottom of the pyramid our economy will really boom because only when the real economy shows up then only the real stock market will boom. If the companies in India have decided to produce products only for the upper classes like some 15% to 20% classes as per the government statistics, if they are going to manufacture products only for these people, the, the, they will witness a drop in sales only because drastically it will reduce due to the lower consumption of this 83% market segment. And the same has been reflected in the quarter two financial statement of all these companies. So the recent report that has been released across companies, across various sectors, for except for bank and financial institutions, all other companies in an average have, uh, have seen a profit drop of nearly 10%. And a report from the business standard 
last week they have re released a report stating that nearly 42 percentage of the profits that the Indian companies have earned in the second quarter is attributable by the banking as well as financial institution segment. So the remaining uh, 68 per uh, remaining 68% is a consortium of all other companies, all other segments. So in this itself, we can easily uh, note that the stock market is functioning in an irrational manner. It's like the stock market cannot go up for a long time because only for a small segment, if the market is going to uh, move in an irrational way, then it will attain a level of a point of saturation and after that they will go down only. So the only thing the government has to do is they have to address the needs of the bottom of the primitive people because now recently we are witnessing a problem with the top of the pyramid also the massive layoff that has been occurred all over the world especially in india where even the foreign companies like a meta a twitter amazon they are laying off nearly thousands of indians as well as our indian unicorns as well zomato ola baijus they are also laying off a lot of uh, people from the from job so these people are earning above 30,000 or above 40,000 or even above 1 lakh. So when they are laid off from their job, their remuneration would be cut. So they will be able to spend only less. So the consumption pattern also will change even to the top of the pyramid. So the bottom of the pyramid is already in stress. The top of the pyramid people will be in stress in the near future. So this is the right time to buy some quality stocks quality stocks in a lesser quantity rates. So the stocks that with a lesser a debt, stocks with a lesser a P ratio and try to accumulate these kinds of stocks across sectors and wait for the right time to accumulate a lot in the near future dip in the stock market. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click on the like button, share it with your friends and families and don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on the bell notification as well. Thank you all. In the first week of December, between 8th and 12th of December, I plan to be in Muscat in the Sultanate of Oman. Those who would like to see me in Oman can get in touch with my team. There is a WhatsApp number given below and there is an email ID also given below. So those desirous of getting in touch with me at the Sultanate of Oman, especially in the city of Muscat from 8th to 12th of December, can definitely contact me there. I hope to see you all in Oman soon. Thank you for watching. Be rich. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.